What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving the programming question called maximum subarray. And the problem description goes like this. Given an integer array nums, find contiguous subarray containing at least one number which has the largest sum and return its sum. So here we have an example with an input of an integer array of nums with the numbers negative 2, 1, negative 3, 4, negative 1, 2, 1, negative 5, and 4. And the output is 6 because the maximum subarray is 4, negative 1, 2, and 1, which gives us a sum of 4 minus 1, which is 3, 3 plus 2, which is 5, and 5 plus 1, which is 6. To compute this largest sum, what we have to do is store all of our temporary largest sum at that specific index into a results list. And here I have step-by-step -step how it's done. In the beginning, there is only one number, so that number is going to be the sum, and there's nothing to compare to, so we're going to append negative 2 into the results list. And as we traverse through the integer array of nums, we're going to see that we are doing a comparison, and we can compare our current number, nums, at 1, which is 1, and um, the results at uh, the previous index plus 1, which is the current number. And we're doing this because uh, our results at our previous index will store the temporary maximum sum that we previously had. And then uh, we can add the current number to get the new sum and see if that new sum is greater than the current number that we're on or if the current number that we're on is greater than that new sum. And if the current number that we're on, in this case, for example, is greater than the previous uh, sum. So that's going to be the new sub array and it's going to have the maximum sum. So we're going to store that um, into our results list. And that's going to be the maximum sub array at that specific index or the su maximum sum at that specific index. And then we see we traversed through and we got through negative 3 and we check to see if it's negative 3 is uh, the maximum or if negative 3 plus the previous item in the results list, so it's just 1, uh, is the maximum. And that is actually the maximum because negative 3 plus the previous item in the results uh, gives us negative 2. And negative 2 is greater than negative 3, so we're going to store negative 2 into the results. And we're going to keep going until we get to the end of the list. And once we get to the end of the list, the maximum at the results list is going to give us the maximum subarray, which in this case, it's 6, as we can see over here. So now I am going to try and code this algorithm out in Python. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a results list to store all of the temporary maximum sums. So the results is going to be equal to an empty list. And then I'm going to loop through all of the items in the nums array. And if we're at the first index, then the numbers add. Then we're going to store the current number inside of the results list because there's nothing else to compare to. There's only one number, so that number is the sum. And after that, I will handle all the rest of the cases, which is to append um, to the results list the maximum of nums at i and results at i minus 1, which is the temporary maximum uh, sum of the previous index. And then I will add the current number to see which is greater. I'm going to see if results at the previous index is plus the numbers array at i is greater than nums at i, or if nums at i is greater than the results at the previous index plus nums at i. And once I loop through all of those, I can just return the results 
or the max results. That should give me six. So now I'm going to try to run the code and see how it goes. And now we can see that we got a maximum subarray of six because four minus one plus two plus one will give us the largest subarray and it will give us a sum of six. So I will submit it. And that is our approach to solving the maximum subarray. I hope you enjoyed this approach. It is pretty straightforward and basically we are storing the previous um, maximum sums and um, using it in, when we compare our current maximum sum. And we're doing that, and by doing that, we're using dynamic programming. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this approach. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe in this video. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.